In today's video, we're going to dive into a topic that's making waves in the diabetes community. While algae might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think about dietary solutions, these aquatic marvels are packing a punch in the scientific world with their promising potential for managing diabetes. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button or hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. In the vast and diverse world of algae, there are thousands of species, each boasting unique properties and benefits. However, a few stand out in terms of their potential benefits for diabetics, and that's what we're going to delve into today. We'll start with the most popular algae, and we'll end with the best of the best, so make sure to watch till the end. Let's start with one of the most popular algae superfoods on the market, spirulina. Spirulina is a blue-green algae that's been widely recognized for its nutritional benefits, particularly its high protein and antioxidant content. However, beyond general health, spirulina has demonstrated potential benefits for diabetics. A 2018 study published in the Journal of Medicinal Food showed that type 2 diabetes patients who consumed spirulina regularly had a significant decrease in their fasting blood sugar levels. This has been attributed to its high protein content and the presence of a pigment called phycocyanin, known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Next up, we have chlorella, a single-celled green alga that, despite its microscopic size, packs quite a punch when it comes to health benefits. The Biomedical Research Institute in Korea conducted a study in 2019 and discovered that chlorella intake resulted in reduced blood glucose levels and improved insulin sensitivity in diabetic mice. The results point towards chlorella's potential as an effective supplement for diabetics. The algae world isn't all green, though. Let's take a turn and venture into the domain of brown algae, where a species known as Fucoidin, found in algae like kelp and bladder rack, reigns. In a 2020 study published in the Journal of Biomedical Materials Research, Fucoidin was found to improve glucose metabolism, offering an intriguing possibility for its use in diabetes management. Of course, we can't forget about the red algae, notably the species known as Dulce. An interesting study was published in the Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry in 2021. The researchers found that a diet supplemented with Dulce improved insulin sensitivity in rats, thanks to its high fiber content and the presence of unique bioactive compounds. Now bear in mind that the majority of this research is still in the preclinical stage, based on animal models. However, these promising early findings pave the way for more comprehensive studies on humans. Although each individual's health needs vary, moderate consumption of these algae, as part of a balanced diet, is generally safe for most people. But as always, it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen, especially if you have underlying health conditions like diabetes. Now for the best of the best, the algae that has sparked intense interest in the scientific community, euglena. What makes euglena truly unique is that it's not just a plant, but also an animal. This single-celled organism is versatile, adapting to both plant-like photosynthesis and animal-like behavior of consuming other organisms. What sets euglena apart in diabetes management is the unique carbohydrate it contains, pyramelon. In a 2022 study published in the Journal of Diabetes Research, it was discovered that euglena and pyramelon significantly improved blood glucose levels and insulin resistance in diabetic mice. It also reduced oxidative stress, which contributes to diabetes-related complications. Pyramelon's magic seems to lie in its potential to slow down sugar absorption in the bloodstream, mitigating the spike in blood glucose levels that diabetics commonly experience after meals. But that's not all that makes euglena a standout. It's also an excellent source of vitamins and minerals, particularly vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. Thiamine deficiency is often a concern for diabetics and is associated with an increased risk of complications. Euglena's rich thiamine content, coupled with the benefits of pyramelon, could make it an exceptional addition to a diabetic diet. Still, we should remember that the existing research on euglena and its effects on diabetes is mainly based on animal models. Human bodies are much more complex, and although the preliminary data is promising, we need more clinical trials on humans to conclusively determine the benefits of euglena in diabetes management. Studies have shown that many types of algae may slow cancer cell growth in both animal and laboratory research, making them potential natural cancer treatments. Hopefully, there will be more human studies to confirm this potential cancer-killing ability. 
Experimental animal studies have shown the inhibitory effect of algae on oral cancer, while a human study has shown its ability to fight precancerous mouth sores known as oral leukoplakia. These research findings published in Nutrition and Cancer show that taking one gram of spirulina, spirulina fusiformis, daily by mouth for 12 months reduced oral leukoplakia in people who chewed tobacco. This was the first human study showing the potential of spirulina fusiformis to prevent cancer formation. A scientific review published in 2013 confirms that blue-green algae can protect against cardiovascular disease and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which are two of the most significant threats to health in developed countries. Overall, studies in cells, animals, and humans have shown that dietary intake of blue-green algae can be an effective natural product for improving blood lipid profiles and for preventing inflammation and oxidative stress, which are all well-known contributing factors to the development of heart disease. Now, beyond these potential health benefits, algae deserve recognition for their versatility in culinary applications. Algae like spirulina and chlorella can be powdered and added to smoothies or baked goods. Dulce can be eaten fresh, dried as a snack, or used as a seasoning. And while euglena might be more popular in supplement form, researchers are exploring ways to incorporate it into everyday foods, making it easier for everyone to enjoy its benefits. Further adding to the appeal of algae is the sustainability factor. Algae grow quickly, require minimal resources, and can thrive in diverse environments, making them an environmentally friendly choice for large-scale cultivation. In fact, according to a 2023 report by the Food and Agriculture Organization, the global algae market is set to reach $1.2 billion by 2025, indicating that our appreciation for these remarkable organisms is growing. However, it's essential to remember that, while promising, algae are not a standalone solution for diabetes. They should be part of a broader, comprehensive approach to managing the condition, which includes a balanced diet, regular physical activity, consistent monitoring of blood glucose levels, and adherence to prescribed medications. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making significant dietary changes or starting any new supplements. In closing, the world of algae offers us a tantalizing glimpse into potential natural aids for diabetes management. From spirulina's positive impact on blood sugar levels to chlorella's promise in improving insulin sensitivity to the groundbreaking potential of euglena, the humble algae are stepping up to show that they can be powerful allies in our health journeys. As research continues to explore these possibilities, we may find ourselves on the brink of an exciting new era where managing diabetes becomes more natural, sustainable, and perhaps even a little bit easier. Remember, while we await more human clinical trials, the current data is promising, and who knows? The key to better diabetes management might just be swimming in our oceans, basking in our sunlit waters, and waiting to be discovered.